the Raya, you the GOAT, boy. RT, you good, bro? Crazy coming back, he cracked the sky, he come with fire. Grab a look, yeah, it gotta burn, yeah, with fire. Damn, where you be dead at? It's in the Bible. I tell you what you're afraid of. This literature, where do you see yourself at? Judah. So you would be considered a so-called American black, all right? So do we find, do we know that we found the tribe of Judah as American blacks? Have you ever heard that before? Never heard that. But here in America, you heard that you what? African-American, what else? What else they call us? Black, are you black? You black, okay, okay. Let's do a test if you black. Right, you see my boots? These big black boots? Are you the same color as, as these big black boots? No. So are you black? Oh, you have to think about it, right? Not, no, it don't make sense. Black is just a color in a crayon box. Right. Where's the country at, Black? Where's the country of Black? Can you hop on a plane and fly to the country called Black? What is the heritage of Black? What is the heritage of African American? What is the her? It's made up, sis. It's all lies. Right. So this is what we learned in slavery. That we are American Blacks, that we African Americans colored, Negro, niggas, black, but God call us Judah. That's who we are according to the Bible. All right? And so we're going to prove that. All right? So I'm going to show you, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. And have you ever wondered why we went into slavery? Did they teach you all that in the school, slavery? What did you learn about? Uh, absolutely. All right. So why that? Why though? It's a lot of Chinese people, ain't it? A lot of them jokers. A, a lot of Japanese people. But why us? Why do we get packed up on cargo slave ships and, and, and shipped clear across the world? Why us? Out of all the people in the world, has that ever happened to anybody else that you know of in history? Right, not to be made servants, only us, all right? So give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. So you believe in the Bible? Okay, let's see what the Lord, uh, what the Lord says. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, so... Deuteronomy is the first, one of the first five books of the Bible called the Torah. Moses was writing to the children of who? Testing your Bible knowledge. The children of Israel, right? That's who the, that's who the whole Bible is about, the children right. of Israel. Right. So read verse uh, 1 and 1. Well, 29 and 1, 29 and 1. Right there. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29 and verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. See that? To make with who? The children of Israel. So Moses is talking to the children of Israel. He said, now go back to where we was at. If you don't keep the commandments, if you don't hearken, meaning listen, 
what was gonna happen to you? You remember that all these what was gonna fall upon you? Read the last part, just the last part, read. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what was going to happen to the Israelites if they didn't listen to God? Curses was going to befall them. All right, verse 16. Let's get it. So now we're going to read just a couple of these curses. And I'm going to let you go, okay? Uh, verse 16. Let's go. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city and curse shall thou be in the field. So this was a prophecy because he said this shell. Shell is a word that uh, denotes what? Future tense, right? Future tense word. This shall come to pass. So this was gonna happen in the future. That we was gonna be what? Curse shall thou be in the city and curse shall thou be in the field. Alright, so you go to Fisk? Where you from? Detroit? I knew it right here, your shirt, right? So Detroit. Wow, it's pretty run down, right? Very run down, like you said. Um how's the water up there? Flint. Yeah, 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 because God said what? Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Gangs. It's not only in Detroit, it's here. Any city that you see, so-called blacks and Hispanics, we're number one in, 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 in the uh, criminal system. We're number one incarcerated. STD rates. Gang activity. That's us. Think about uh, poverty, living in the projects, the ghettos, the slums, having to go to another nation in want of all things. Where's the black-owned businesses in, in uh, Detroit? Are there are there many? Like chain stores, like think about like Walmart, think about uh, your big block chains, right? Stores. Do we own those things? Very few, right? You might got a barbershop, might, might have a... Uh, a sister to do hair, you know what I'm saying? A little chicken spot, get a little wings, but where are the chains, right? I got my own business, but I don't have chains of, you know what I'm saying? Because God said what again? Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Right, we're just gonna be cursed in the city, sis. So any sis, hey, hey bro, get out the car and deal with us, bro. Get out the car and deal with us, bro. Hey, sis. Sis, sis, you good, you good. Ignore, ignore him, bro. Come on, sis. Come on, sis, you good. For real, that's all Come on, way. come on. Huh? Y'all stay blessed, y'all keep going. All right, that's what we're doing, bro. We out here teaching. All right, so, sis, you ain't got to run away. Don't run away. You from Detroit, man. <laughs> that ain't nothing, man. You from Detroit, man. Nah. So, God said we was going to be cursed in the city. So, when you just look around, even in the, look, even here, it just looks run down. Like, it looks run down. We was going to be cursed in the city. It was going to be cursed in the field. So let's go back to slavery days. You say you learned about slavery, right? Look at this. Look at this one. <laughs> Kayla, Kayla. So God said we was going to be cursed in the city and cursed in the fields. So what fields were we cursed in as a nation of people? When the Europeans, like you said, came and got us. What fields were we cursed in? The what? You hit it right on the head. Cotton field. What other what other field, Kayla? What other plantations were they? Any vegetable that you could think of, our people was there. The bean plantation, the peanut plantation, the rice plantation, the sugar cane fields, to the, the uh, tobacco fields, all of that. That was us. Because that's one of the curses. And God said, what? Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. It's going to be cursed in any city that you inhabit, in any field that we was going to be cursed in. All right, go, verse uh, 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. So it says... Your sons and daughters will be given to another people. So when did that happen to us? Yeah, our sons and our daughters will be given to another people. And, and doing what? Absolutely. So what we're reading so far, it sounds like the Bible is a true book, right? All right. That's, it's called Bible prophecy. That's right. It's called Bible prophecy. And this is the, to show you who we are as a people because we don't know. 
We've been disconnected through slavery. You were sold. I was sold to uh, clear across state lines when uh, Master Charles came and got you. You don't know who you, but then we, what are we gonna learn? Nothing. You think the slave master's gonna teach you the truth? You think he gonna tell you about God? But now, this is what we taught. Look at this sign right here, Kayla. We taught that the white man, the very man that put us in slavery, we taught Why? that he is God. We, we, we taught that he is Jesus. Is, is this Jesus? Okay, I'll praise this to the whole side. Hey, hey, and you, you're absolutely correct. And we we gonna, we gonna touch that, all right? So it says our sons and our daughters was gonna be given to another people. That happened to us in slavery. Kayla, you was, you hit it right on the head, right? Very smart, verse uh, 41. Verse 41, thou shalt beget sons and daughters. Beget meaning we was gonna have. We was gonna have sons and daughters, read. But thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. We wasn't gonna enjoy our kids because they was gonna go into captivity, meaning, AKA, slavery. Even at a very young age. Even at a very young age. You ever seen the movie Django? 12 years of slavery and all of that? That's true. This is what happened to us. Yeah, right here, yeah, of course. Guess what? While our kids was in the slavery cotton fields, Big Mama had to have their baby on the back. And this is an actual photo. Yeah, yeah. It's a photo. This is not a drawing, it's an actual photo. It's what we had to go through. Being sold. Daughter being sold right here. Daughter about to be sold. This is what happened to us. That's how we know that the Bible is a true book, Caleb. Right. Give me verse uh, 68. No, 40, uh, 48. Let's go. Verse 48. Therefore, uh, shall thou serve uh, thy enemies. Verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon uh, thee for a sign. So it says, they shall be upon us for a sign. So what does a sign do? What does a sign do? Say that again. It informs you. That's That's correct. What else? It, it can warn you, right? It can be an identifying marker, right? So it says, the curses, they shall be upon you, the children of Israel, read. For a sign. For a sign. And for a wonder. For you to wonder, for you to pick up this book one day in 2023, outside of King's Market, talking to the brothers in purple. You was going to wonder, are these brothers really telling the truth about the Bible? Read upon thy seed forever. And this is gonna be upon our seeds forever, meaning that this Bible is gonna be here for a sign for us forever, so that one day we can wake up to who we really are. Right. Because we're not black. We just proved that with the boot uh, demonstration. We just proved that we're not African American. We just prove we're proving who we are according to the Bible. Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. So the God said, since you don't want to serve me, remember Moses is talking to the children of Israel. He said, if you don't want to serve God, the most high God, that what? Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall bring against thee. So God brought the Europeans, like you said, against us. That's what happened. Think about it. We're the strongest people on earth. Right. We run faster. Right. We're the number one athletes. Right. We're smarter. Right. We we invented damn near everything. Right. But how is it that we found ourselves in slavery? That had to be a work of God when you really think about it. That how can the strongest people on earth become subservient to the weakest people on earth? That the sun is against them. They send out the sun to get burnt up. Right? So God says, since you don't want to hear me, now you got to serve the ones that I'm going to send against you. How? In hunger? Okay, if you're hungry, why don't you just get out the store? Have you ain't been in there yet? Okay, you ain't even made it in yet. Okay. So what you going to get in the store? Once the time go back a little bit more, it'll be good. Chips and the juice. So if you hungry, you got to do what? Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, 
which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. If you thirsty them chips and that drink because we don't own this store. So he says, you got to go to your enemies, the other nations, read. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Nakedness, meaning naked. Kayla, if you're naked, what do you need? You need clothes. So when's the last time you went into a store and bought clothes from your own people? And even if so, even if we had our own uh, clothing store, do we own the cotton fields to get the cotton to even make the clothes? So you still got to go to another nation of people and God calls those people your enemies. Because if you pack me up on cargo slave ships and ship me off and you sell my kids, is that a friend? Right, so we don't teach hate, we just teach truth. We're not telling nobody to go out and do anything, we're not telling nobody to go pick out no guns, we're not telling nobody to hate anybody, but we're going to teach the truth according to the Bible. That's right. And God says that your enemies was going to do these things to you. Read. And in thirst, and in nakedness, and in the want of all things. You want anything, you drive? Not yet? Okay, that's cool. But when you do drive, then you have to get a driver's license. You got to go to another nation of people. When you, uh, is have a backup play. You know how uh what we say, yep. birth certificate, even, and even fist, it's supposed to be HBCU. But guess what? That was founded by white men. Oh, and even the curriculum is their curriculum. Right. They can only teach but so much black history. Again, I guarantee you they're not teaching this. We actually, we went to fist uh, one day and did an interview with the, uh, the radio station there. It was, it was real good. Um, we sat down with the, uh, the radio host and also uh, a couple of pastors just to bring out the word. So we do have relations with uh, Fisk University, but at the core, that's not, they're not teaching their own curriculum. They have to go by their guidelines, right? Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Right, so the Bible is a true book. It says you, he was gonna put yokes of iron upon thy neck. So look at these yokes of iron upon our neck. Muzzles, yokes of iron upon our neck. We got more right here. What happened to the Native Americans? Right. It's from the tribe of Gad, right? Yokes of iron upon their neck. They came over here, slaughtered them, sold them back to uh, Spain. That was in the 1400s, 1441, is when slavery really began. Then we went into slavery in the 1600s, right. 1619. Right? Change. On their necks. This is history, man. And the Bible correlates perfectly with history. And I love that his the history books uh, back up what the Bible's saying. Right. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. Until, until we be destroyed. Destroyed how? So the chains came off our neck. And so how are we destroyed now as a people? What's that? Because we don't know who we are. So when the chains physically came out, out of, off of our neck, where did those chains go? Onto our lives, that's right. And onto our minds. Now we don't know who we are. We don't know who our God is. We don't know anything. We don't know our own nationality. What you measuring in? Political science. Okay, this this is some good stuff for your uh, your career for you to hold on to. And uh, maybe one day, hey, get into the politics and bring this stuff out. All right. In verse sixty-eight, and I'm gonna let you go right here. Verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee unto Egypt again. So the Lord was going to bring us into Egypt again. Egypt is a Greek word. Give me that Exodus 20 and verse 2. Egypt means slavery, bondage. That's what Egypt means, all right? It's synonymous, right? Come on. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Right, so Egypt, out of the land of Egypt, out of the what? The house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with what? Uh-huh. 
Yes, yes, because another word for bondage would be slavery. Absolutely. You see, you catching on, man. You're smart. Let's go. And the Lord oh. shall bring thee unto Egypt again. Into slavery again. Bondage again. Read. With ships. With what? Ships. So how do we get into slavery? Did you know that that was in the Bible? You did. You, so, so you heard that we went into slavery with ships before. Okay, let's go. With ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For by men. So those same enemies that you gotta get those chips from. The drinks from because not only do we get sold to the so-called white man, we got sold to the Arabs first. Have you heard of the sub-Saharan slave trade? Look, 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 look that up. The sub-Saharan slave trade. Our people went into slavery up under the Arabs, the Ishmaelites. All right, read on. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Right. So no man was gonna be able to free us. No man was gonna be able to free us. That's what buy you means. Buy you means to to redeem. So I couldn't redeem you out of slavery. Right. I couldn't, we couldn't put our money together in the 1600s and go buy back our kids. Right. Because God said what? And no man shall buy you. No man was gonna be able to redeem us. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. 